So I need to ask you, what is your staple pieces for a woman in her mid-40s, you know? Okay, so my staple pieces would be um, a good earring, your favorite lip gloss, and another piece of clothing that makes you feel beautiful, whatever it is. It could be shoes, it could be a dress, it could be a sweater, but like that one thing that really gives you that energy so that you can exude it. Oh. Like, I'm not really into, like, one particular thing, like, oh, you should have this. So, like, the things that make you feel alive, that make you feel beautiful, but you do need a good earring and a good little girl. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yes. Hi, I'm Kayla with the Pants and you've got some great moments in hip-hop and fashion. So what's a trend that you really like and really grew into? Okay, so I don't really follow trends, but I do set them. So, I'm not good at that, but I will tell you this, I, I personally just love, um, I love color, I love unique pieces, um, I like to, my fashion to be like outside of the box, and even when I do like a conservative look, it'll always have like a pop or slash a color or like a unique piece, like a statement piece, so, um, well, you are the current from the past. Uh, <laughs> what are some suggestions that you so you feel stylish, feel oh, comfortable? Well, right. Um, what would you suggest? When you're in the park and you want to look cute? Yeah. Well, first of all, you want your feet to be comfortable, right? So <laughs> that's number one. So I would say uh, your favorite sneaker, a cute sneaker. I love Nike. I love Adidas too. I just love, I love anything like with color, but I also like new. So I like like a moth pink or like gray or maybe green. <laughs> I love denim. You hate pink? There's different shades. You can do like, you know, you have from hot pink to like baby pink, baby pink. Um, but I always start with comfortable shoes. And you know what's always cool? Like, um, like leggings or bikers or yes, I have a tennis skirt. Um, it's hard to get out in the sun to really stay cool. But I think it's about the fabric, it's like a lighter fabric and t-shirts. And not worry so much about being fashionable, but pick pieces that are fashionable, if that makes sense. <laughs> Alright, so my question is, so my question is, today when you met with the dream girl yesterday, what was your message to them about being confident and really when you start to get space? Yeah, so... Um, when we, Jerome and I um, met with the dream and we talked to them about style and fashion, but how important it is um, to reflect that from the inside out and how, um, however they wanted to show up and however they wanted to express themselves. We welcomed it and we wanted to learn about it because we want them to be confident. We want them to be, um, be innovative and creative in everything that they do. Not just their work, but just approaching life from a creative perspective, which is outside of the box, right? Right. So I want them to. We want them to take that with them as they go forward. You know, to to not be afraid to express themselves and to know that they are important and they deserve to be in every room that they find themselves in. And they are truly special. And um, I think we achieved that. You did. did I answer yes. your question? Yes. 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 What advice did you give the dreamers that you met with for shopping when you guys weren't around with them to help? Oh, what advice did we give them? To oh. the dreamers, to, to when okay. they, you know, you worked with them, you gave them advice yesterday. Next week, next month, they're going to go out shopping on their own. Yes. What advice did you give them to look in the future for their own look and, and style? Yeah, of, just, of to, just to own it, you know, like to be confident in what they like and how they want to express themselves. And one thing I mentioned when we were on stage is the importance of also, there's a time and a place for certain things, you know, and they're still in school. And they may have to um, have certain meetings or with, um, well, they may need to be in certain places where they have to like, tone it down a bit. And that's fine because some things are customary in life, right? You can't, you know, some things you just have to do them a certain way, but you can still incorporate a piece of your style in those moments. Like for me, I love to be like this all the time, but there are times when I may have had meetings at my kid's school, or I may have gone into a place where the customer was on more on the conservative side. And so I would just have like, you know, a pop of color um, or choose a suit or something that would maybe be conservative for me. Um, but it still has some design element to it. You know what I mean? It's just something that gives that Misa um, style aesthetic. And so for, I, I suggest that to them. It's all about finding 
your style and knowing what your aesthetic is and knowing what you like and finding different ways to incorporate those things because you don't have to be one way all the time and that's part of being versatile you know you can you can you can reimagine your look in so many different ways yes.